Moving on to the outputs, I'll select the stereo amplifier output and keep the default name amplifier. Once again, you can see the graphic symbol next to the channel type for the amplifier channel tells you that this is a stereo channel. Although the stereo amplifier has an underlying left and right physical connections, it's shown as one virtual channel. There are other choices for outputs from the system, including assistive listening options and audio recording options. If your design requires a style of output device that isn't listed there, pick the one that seems the closest. You can always customize the settings and signal routing later once the project has been completed. Notice that any devices that have both a send and receive component, such as the telco interface and video codec, already have their outputs defined, so you don't have to add them separately. Once the outputs have been selected, click the Next button to go to Step 3. In this step, you will select the devices that you will use to implement the design. And by default, Sound Structure Studio will select the lowest cost solution automatically. In this case, it shows we need a C12 to implement the design. If you want to use different equipment, now is a good time to select that equipment. But don't worry, the equipment can also be changed later with the Edit Devices feature that's built into Sound Structure Studio. The Edit Devices feature allows you to create a project for one set of devices and upload the project to a different set of devices. This makes it easier to use the same basic design in many different ways. To manually select different equipment, select the Manually Select Devices and add and remove the devices that you'd like to use. To go back to the Automatic Selection, simply select the option for Automatically Select Devices. At the bottom of the Step 3 window, you'll see how many different styles of inputs and outputs are still available with the equipment that's been selected. In this case, we'll see that we have two more CR mic ins available. This stands for Conferencing Microphone Inputs. There are also 10 line outputs available. The SR mic in number counts the number of inputs that could be used on the SR series devices. With Sound Structure products, the C series products include acoustic echo cancellation on all the inputs, and the SR series products are similar but do not have acoustic echo cancellation processing available. Finally, you see the number of additional phone lines that could be supported, the number of Polycom HDX array microphones that could be added, and the number of HDX video codecs that could be added to the system. Since we only have a single phone line card in the design, and already have included a phone line in the design, there's no additional phone lines that can be added without changing the equipment that we've selected. To change the single line telephony card to a dual line telephony card, for example, click on the telephony card and select Remove. At that point, you will see you need one more phone line to build the system as designed. Selecting a dual line telephone card will solve this problem and also indicate that there is now one more phone line available. Once again, to go back to the minimum cost solution, select the Automatically Select Devices control. Once the equipment has been selected, you may click Next to move on to the last step. At this step, we have the option to continue to work offline, in other words, not connected to a device, or upload the settings to any devices that we discovered on the network or over an RS-232 interface. We recommend you work offline because that allows you to change the design as you'd like, including changing how the input and output signals are physically wired into the rear of the sound structure device, and then upload to the sound structure device or devices when you're ready. In this example, select Work Offline and then click Finish to create the design. At this point, we've finished the design and are ready to go into the next step of customizing and reviewing.